As you know, in medicine, there are a lot of birth abnormalities due to consanguineous marriages. That is, in relations marrying. Please explain. The sister asked the question: Does Islam permit consanguineous marriages, marrying close relatives? Yes. As far as marriages are concerned, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number twenty to twenty-five, that you cannot. those marriages which are prohibited that you cannot marry your mother your daughter the sister of your mother the sister of your father and a list is given of the close ma of the close marriage but marrying first cousin is permitted but brother sister father mother this is not permitted but first cousin is permitted today science tells us that directly if you marry the blood brother and sisters marry there are high chances of abnormalities they can be genetic problems so directly brother and sister marry father and daughter mother and son if they marry or direct paternal uncle first uncle sister of the father etc there are high chances of abnormalities so islam prohibits this but as far as first cousin is concerned islam permits it and today science tells us that even in first cousin the chances is there but it is negligible genetic problem can even come if you marry if two people boy and girl even if they are unknown if they marry there is no problem even if they are not relatives yet there can be a genetic problem in them that doesn't mean that genetic problem only comes in relative yes it comes the chances are very high if they are direct blood brothers and sisters mother and father direct uncle but first cousin the chances a little bit more as compared to unknown but the difference is forbidden therefore the hadith according to dr ahmed sakhar the hadith in which the prophet said that do not marry continuously generation after generation amongst your first cousin so generation after generation we keep on marry then there is a problem otherwise even medical science says generally it's no problem but generation after generation if you keep on doing this first cousin marries again first cousin again first cousin then the chances Rise a bit. Otherwise, normally there's no problem at all. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you, sir. Yes, the the sister in the rear. Mike number two, sister, sir. Assalamu alaikum. I've got two questions to ask. The first one is that why can't a Muslim girl get married to a non-Muslim guy and still follow Islam? And I've got one more question. as it is acceptable in islam for a man that he can marry four times do he have to inform the first wife about the second marriage or he can be like he can marry without informing the first wife this is the two questions she has asked the first question is that the first question she posed is that in islam in islam is it compulsory that you should take the permission of the first wife before marrying the second wife and the first question of hers was that in uh, islam why can a man marry a non muslim girl as far as the first question it is it wasn't like that i'm sorry it's like why can uh, if a girl is born in a muslim family why she cannot marry a non muslim guy and still follow islam why can a girl who's married in a muslim who's born in a muslim family marry a non muslim man and yet follow islam The reason is because it goes against the teaching of our Creator, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number two twenty one, that do not marry a mushrika, do not marry a mushrik until he believes. Do not marry an idol worshipper. Do not marry a non-believer until he believes. Even a believer, even if he is a slave man, even if he is a bondsman, he is far better than a non-believer, than a mushrik man. then a non muslim man even if he allows you mean even if he may be the most handsome man in the world he may be the richest man and if he is a non muslim a muslim man who may be dark who may be ugly who may be a slave is far superior similarly the verse continues that for a man he should not marry a unbelieving woman until she believes 
a believing woman who is a slave woman is far superior than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you the logical reason sister is that in a car or in a vehicle if one tire is of a bicycle and the other tire is of a truck so will the vehicle run but naturally no all the four tires should be equal and furthermore you ask the question that how can can she be a good muslim by marrying a non muslim the reason is that in islam we want our spouse our life partner also to go to janna now she has found the way to janna she has found the way to paradise that her paradise is in following islam she should follow the quran and the sahih hadith now imagine when she knows that she is going to go to paradise and a husband who is doing idol worship who doesn't believe in islam who is going to go to hell this life sister is a small portion as compared to next life this life maybe you stay with her husband for 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years how long 60 years the next life is eternal life that means she is selfish a good muslim or a good muslima a good muslim man or woman would also want that their spouse the husband or wife should also go to janna so that is the reason it's important that both the husband and wife are muslims as far as the second question is concerned is it compulsory for the muslim man to take the permission of the first wife before he marries the second wife it is not compulsory unless it is mentioned in the nikah nama if it is mentioned in the nikah nama in the marital contract if the wife has said you should not take a second wife as long as i live then it becomes compulsory if it's not mentioned in the nikah nama it is not compulsory but at least he should inform her why only if he inform the one of the criteria to marry more than one wife as the quran says in surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 3 is marry woman of a choice in twos threes or fours but if you can't do justice marry only one so one of the criteria to marry more than one wife is you should be just between your wives so if you do not inform your wife how will you do justice between your wife maybe you'll tell lies that i'm going for office work i'm going out of bombay you may not go so therefore if you marry a second wife taking permission is not a must is not compulsory but at least inform her so that you can do justice between both your wives hope that answers the question sister thank you